You're listening to Where You Live with Gene and Tony. This is Where You Live with Gene and Tony. We're broadcasting from the Concierge Landscape Studios, and we're brought to you by Extreme Exteriors and American Family Insurance, the Kim Bennett Agency. Time now for a message from the Minnesota Multi-Housing Association. The MHA Minute is brought to you by Pest Control Services. When you need an exterminator, you need someone reliable and effective. Give Greg Keener a call at Pest Control Services, 952-894-9748. Pest Control Services is a proud member of Angie's List and a member of the Minnesota Multi-Housing Association. That's Pest Control Services, 952-894-9748. And tell Greg that Gene and Tony sent you. Do you need products to successfully run your rental property business? Interested in a class about fair housing or rekeying locks? Want to use the plain language lease that is used by the majority of rental property owners in Minnesota? Then you should visit MMHA.com. That's two M's. MMHA.com. That's the website for the Minnesota Multi-Housing Association, the most comprehensive resource in the state for owners of everything from a duplex to hundreds of units and for townhome and condo associations as well. They've been around for 40 years and put on hundreds of seminars, publish a monthly magazine, sell attorney general approved leases, and have countless other tools for property owners. While they are a membership organization, all of their resources and seminars and their annual convention and their spring conference and their orientation programs are open to everyone. For more information, visit the website, mmha.com. All right, Gene, what's this story out of Atlanta? Uh, this is one that... Uh when I when I read it, I uh, I just I felt their pain. I you know, it, <laughs> and there, there was a measure of disbelief too yes, in my reaction. Yes, there, to this. there is an yeah. incredulousness there on the go. part of a uh, uh, a city and and yeah. how they are acting towards their homeowners. Um, uh, see if you do not pick up on the irony, <laughs> folks, yourself. Um, the article uh, this comes from. Atlanta, Georgia, the uh, Channel 46 News, the CBS affiliate there, uh, picked up uh, last week. Uh, The title is, As Homes Decay, Neighbors Want Answers from the City of Atlanta. Here's what's happening, folks. Residents near Grant Park, which is an area uh, in southeast uh, Atlanta, they're fed up with two homes that are owned by the City of Atlanta's Water Shed Management Authority, so uh, one of the uh, mm-hmm. uh, one of the uh, organizations or divisions within the the city that have allowed these two homes to be in decay for just over seven years. Wow! The Tapestry Community Homeowners Association uh, said the houses are in such bad shape; the property values of homes in that area have declined. And I, I'd like our listeners to get an understanding of who the Tapestry Community Homeowners Association, because they're not a uh, typical. Yeah, it's not what we understand as an association. As a usually. homeowners association, they are what is called a civic association. Okay. And uh, the civic association, what that means is um, homeowners in this particular neighborhood have gotten together for a common for a common good, a common purpose uh, uh, for the community, it is uh, not put together by governing documents like a homeowners association, and so these uh, these two homes don't fall into anything that the homeowners association has any uh, authority uh, in in trying to dictate, and that's okay. where the issue is. Okay. What's happened is homeowners in Tapestry Community, they got together and they said, we have uh, about uh, seven acres or so of extra land that we want to put together and kind of make like a park. Okay. Uh, you know, we'd like for to- For the neighborhood, yeah. For the neighborhood, for people to enjoy, to walk, um, and to for kids to, to play. To do that, they took a part of this uh, seven plus acres at the time. They sold it to a developer about uh, eight nine years ago. Okay, who ended uh, purchasing them? They thought the developer was going to build two new homes, which, which he, he did. did, yeah, and was going to sell. But then the real estate bubble took place, ah, and uh, those homes never, uh, never sold. 
they finally went back to the bank. So what happened was the uh, city of Atlanta and their watershed management authority said, um, uh, there's uh, some uh, land here that we need to, to manage with, uh, with water. So let's buy those two brand new homes and, and let's, lots. let's make them our offices and work from them for the watershed district. Well, they had a project that they had to do right there, I well, thought. Well, there, there was a specific project, but it was even uh, the I, what they were told was it was going to be more than just that oh, one project. Ongoing, they were going to office Ongoing, and there. they were going to office And there. these were brand new, never been lived in homes? Yeah. Wow. And okay. so um, the watershed uh, authority uh, picked them up, but here's the, here's the problem. Um, after that one project was done, they said, oh, we really don't uh, uh, want to continue on. So they moved out, and that was it. I mean, <laughs> they didn't do anything else. Um, and they so just aban- abandoned those two abandoned homes? They abandoned the homes, essentially. Wow. Um, they weren't even taking care of cutting the grass. The people in the tapestry community in this civic association called the city constantly. Good for them. At, uh, Will you cut the grass? And maybe once or twice a year they would uh, they would do that. Well, then they noticed that the units were broken in. Uh, you know, plumbing was being stolen. Oh Fixtures gosh. were being stolen. Uh, now homeless people were living there, there and squatters. camping. Squatters in the property. Uh, finally, they boarded it up. They got the city to board it up. Yes. Finally. And uh, after all of this... They're asking the city, what are you going to do? What, you know, don't just let this happen. Here's what the city said. Uh, they said, uh, we, under, we know this is a problem. There are stuff in the works. We're dealing with it. That was their answer. <laughs> well, well, and the only thing I can say is, Please be patient. Yes, that's what that got me. This 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 representative of the city says. Well, all we can ask is that you please be patient. It's been going on for seven years. Hey, we've got stuff in in the works. You know, it's a no, no big deal. I I would I would ask any of our listeners try that on your city. <laughs> You don't those pay weeds the, that are growing up by the garage. You know, once in a while you get a little send, a say, citation they send that a says notice, cut down your weed. Yeah, say, hey, I'm getting to it. I got stuff I, in I the works. I just need you to be a little bit patient. I got stuff in the works. I mean, that, that was what they, they <laughs> yeah, said. Yeah, that'll work. It, it reminds me of that old uh, Steve Martin uh, routine that he, he did. He said he had uh, the perfect words to say, uh, two words, and you don't have to pay your income taxes. Okay. You, the IRS calls, and you just say, I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> and, and that'll take care. Of and that'll that'll take care of it. Uh, apparently, what appara- you say? apparently that is what uh, the city of Atlanta is doing to these folks. Oh my gosh! Now, and they're concerned. I mean, think of the irony of this. Here's a group yeah. of people yeah. who have taken great care to take a chunk of land that they have and to make it available to the community and to the public. Yeah, they're taking care of their homes. They take great pride. And uh, you have the real estate bubble burst. The last thing you want is for a couple neighbors to not take care of the property. But when those neighbors are the city, crazy, you know, and you ask, uh, you ask the city, well, can you send someone out? Yeah. To uh, to send a uh, a letter to the owner. I guess that'd be you. <laughs> <laughs> I. And can yeah, you see know, why they're crazy. frustrated? Oh, absolutely. I can see. I, I, it, it's kind of, a, it's, a, it's a very interesting story because you don't hear this very often. Usually I think cities and, and government agencies do a better job yes. of managing property they own. We went through a watershed district issue um, in Hopkins with a property we managed that's yeah. right on Minnehaha Creek. And across the road were two older kind of decrepit uh, apartment buildings. Sure that the Minnehaha Watershed District Authority purchased because they were right on the creek. And the first thing they did was they went in there and tore down those buildings. Now, those buildings had no value, um, really, but they took care of it right away. It's become a green, grassy area, bank, sloping down to the creek. It looks great. So, But it was taken care of. It just wasn't Immediately left. taken yeah. care of, yeah. Yeah, so, boy, this is just uh, yeah. something else. Well, hey, folks, 
Don't go away. We've got to take a break right now, but we've got a whole nother hour of where you live in store. So we'll be back after these messages. 